this show lived up to its name. What is it? I only parry. I parry everything. Bro parried not only the Minotaur, but he parried the princess at the end. So he was like, woman, uh-uh, parried. I am going back into my forest. I'm going to continue swinging his blade and acting like I'm parrying and training the forest for like another 14 years. This guy did nothing but swing a sword in a forest with a bunch of other swords. You know, like it's almost like a laundromat. Like it's almost like a laundry like a, a string with clothes hook falling down. But the swords are there. So I guess the idea of the parrying is he swings. The swords are all moving around. Then he parries. I guess it's kind of hard to like show solo parry training but i kind of got the idea so far it's pretty interesting right we got like a native isekai setting there's adventures guild ratings and the most interesting thing is there's someone that tried to kill the princess because his ring was activated and then the minotaur started to do some shit right there's, there's some kind of conspiracy there let's find out in today's reaction oh what is this the outcome of the minotaur fight he's like if this was not a strong monster it's probably that he's super strong, right? It's it's just that simple, right? This girl was trying to get assassinated, I think. Lineberg. Oh, another waifu, right, right, right. She uses the shields, I think. Trial for right of the throne. Succession war deal going on. So it's just that simple. It's a succession war of right of the throne during this trial. Someone tried to get her killed within their paid assassin by some sort of opposition faction. Probably a sibling, right? Right. Getting into the politics of the show. It's a deep, deep demon. It's a deep was he the magic teacher before? I forget. Okay. A level thread, and we parried his ass, bro, with a shitty sword. Wait, not a succession war threat, but an enemy nation trying to assassinate? The magic empire, okay. They're also just flexing on us? Ooh, a war might happen between two nations. Okay. So, this economy of this kingdom relies on this the dungeons of the lost. You go in there, you get relics, and you sell. Got it, okay. Bokensha. F's reign. And not only a single broadsword. The broadsword broke by the time that he was parrying at the end. That's the crazy. He thought it was just some kind of random cow, right? Sorry, what did you say? He disappeared before our eyes like an illusion or so reports us. This is the Perryman, F Frank Adventure. If only they knew we're F Frank. Hey, it's Mr. Guild Guy. Minotaur, A rank threat. Can he make the connection? Yeah. So he just still doesn't believe that the cow that he fought was a minotaur, huh? He just straight up still thinks random cow. Minotaur? Demon? What do you mean? Where was it? I didn't see one. Never mind. That's all poop then. Ew! I finished cleaning out the mud from the drain this morning before I got it. Is it mud or the aqueduct gets poo, right? This is poo on his face! <laughs> Yeah. A rank adventure. Huh? It used to be. Cliche as ever, right? Just the main character doesn't realize. He's just like, wow. Crazy, huh? I mean, I fought a cow, right? The cow was standing and had a weapon, was swinging around like a minotaur, but there's no way that was a minotaur. No way! Mystery man took it down. <gasps> One blow? God, gotta be cracked! 
<laughs> There's outstanding people out here in the world. Man, I need to train harder if I want to be just like that guy. How much would we get paid if they knew we killed a Minotaur? Yeah, but you're red, Frank, man. You're doing poop duty. Oh, that might be the princess behind. I'm not sure, but that's so nice. Mr. Guildman's like even telling him like, bro. You know that I'm taking the cut out of this dude, right? Like, come on, you need to get your own bag. Lady Limburg. What's so. Like clairvoyance. All the different magic swordsmanship tank, those kind of schools? What did you just say? But they're so basic, it's pretty much embarrassing to be talking to someone like you about it. Oh, she's... I mean, she thinks we're so OP. Clearly, because we beat the Minotaur, but like, we also have like, the most basic, basic-ass skills. Oh, the guild got behind. <laughs> oh, you should go. He probably thinks that like he got in trouble with like the Lindbergh family, right? But it's not really the case. Yeah, you dumbass. ギルドマスターとのお話し中に外に出ろなどと。いや、別に気にし。ちゃんと法令を伝えたかったのです。はい。私の命を救ってくださり、本当にありがとう。You just help him get over Efren. Right? He's not gonna ask for money. He just wants to be an adventurer. And like, there was a whole reasoning of like, Efren's sort of stuck for some reason. They don't get the opportunity, but this is a good opportunity to jump ahead. And like, him being dense kind of makes a lot of sense. It seems so stupid, right? It's so ridiculous how he's so clueless. But like, in his perspective, he's just a random country bumpkin that showed up, got rejected by every school, got told that he's useless. Thinks that he is weak, went back into the forest, swung a fucking sword for 14 years, trained, came back, and then was still told that he's useless. Then became a fucking poop cleaner. And of course, of, of course he's gonna feel that way. Yeah, he, he is fucking pairing his brain cell, dude. He, he straight up is pairing his single brain cell. <laughs> Who's the king? Sorry, the father. Is he the king? Father Limber, who is he? Rejected. Dude, he just parried her. He just he just parried her three times. I just realized. He, he straight up parried all her rewards just now, bro. Buried. <laughs> Buried <again. laughs> what was that? <laughs> She's not accepting anything. Parry that obligation. <laughs> Alright. Oh, backstory? Back through the training arc? Mm, back through the training arc. <laughs> Okay. It must be so weird though if you think about it. Like you save a random girl and then she finds you and then she's like, please let me reward you. You need to go see my dad. Like imagine that situation. Right? Like to us it makes sense because she's like royalty and her dad's probably like the king or something. And it's gonna be huge, but he's probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> you want me to see your dad? <laughs> Why? <laughs> All the magic she's doing right now is probably so, so advanced and tricky. Yeah, one of the houses. Now, are they just nobles or are they actually royalty kings here? Who knows? Noor. 
の名前は<笑>レディー・リンバーグ失礼しましたこちら白猫リンネブルグクレイスと申しますクレイス長い名前なので冒険者と気軽にリーンと呼んでくだされば嬉しいですしかし本当に広い家だいわゆる資産家や貴族というやつ、yeah. Or she just a noble. あこういうことだったのか彼女にお父様の居場所を聞きましょう<笑>お帰りなさいませリンネブルグ様リンただいまエケノマニテレイン様とお話をそちらの男性はから身を挺して私を救ってくれました承知しました私がメイドセンリーメイドアーノーズナイクソノカコユティタシズトゥランドリンアーマーライトオケイワシトゥインファキンドゥインランドリンディファキンアーンプレイトゥインケイカイサレティルラシファキンアラウンドヒジャスイグノレットゥスフォールドヒーレンバーヒジャスタフォレスボイズマウンテンキッド Like, it's actually a miracle that someone made this comment before last episode too, and I thought about this and I'm like, you're right. He spent 14 years swinging a fucking sword in the forest by himself. How does he have any semblance of sanity? You would have lost your ability to fucking talk. There was a period of time when I was like a neat, I am an unemployed neat right now too, but there was a time after like during college where like for like an entire summer, I didn't go outside. I was just inside, just self isolating, just gaming and just, be, just watching anime, bro, and reading manga. And at a certain point, I. Thought that I lost how to speak. Straight up. I was like trying to go order food and I was like, I didn't know how to talk for a second. I'm like, whoa, this is getting bad. I need to go out and socialize. But like, 14 years, dude. So, like, him not knowing all the customs and being dumb, it still kind of makes sense. But it's like, damn, bro, just, he is so clueless. Spearman. Oh, 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 The more escorts, the better. The very cautious. Alright, alright. l l i n is still on guard. The audience chamber. Oh, that's father? You got a cool scar. Okay. Rain. Magical empire. That's fucking with us. ゲスな提案を飲んで国を失うその言葉忘れるでないぞ。Guys, do you think he's evil or not? I can't really tell, man. Like, I feel like this guy's kind of nice. Maybe this is a big misunderstanding, man. I just can't tell. Hmm. 潜んでいる脅威は今回の件だけではないのかもしれません。<笑>いよいよかもしれない。父親、バグリ様。うん。Okay, he's a good dad. I, I thought he might. I don't know. There's some kings where it's just like, you will refer to me as the king in the audience chamber. Okay, he's a nice dad. Yo, that sword! That sword! We gotta get that sword, bro! Give it to us! That's the reward! Give us the sword! Hermit's cloak. Okay. Hello. What's the reward? Let me get out of here. Yeah, I'm just a mountain boy, man. I can probably respect it. You know, subservient like everyone else, and he just treating like an equal. Handshake with the king, man! Wow. What's the reward, though? I want your other eye. Yep. Give me that eye. Give me the last of your eye. 
You can't do it? Oh, what an impolite king. I'm out of here. Now, that's a fucked up reward to be asking for. The sword! The sword, bro! Look at the throne! Hey, you can parry this shit too! <laughs> right. The relics, right? All the resources are from there. Ha You're gonna give half your net worth? That's crazy! I, I guess, like, saving your daughter is a huge deal, but half of everything that you stockpiled to this date? Parried! Wonder what that was a test, you know? Hmm. This man. He dare parry me twice? The sword, the sword. Yeah, the sword, the big black blade! BBB, give me it! <laughs> I think it looks sick! No, it looks menacing. What kind of sword is that? We need a new sword, man. The broad blade broke last time. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> no one will even notice if I switch it out for the replica that was made. <laughs> Alright, yoink, I'm gonna go to the back, I'm gonna pull out the copy, and the copy is gonna be there. They got a replica for this? Ooh, that waits! Wow, and the king was waving that around so easily. What's the lore behind this sword, man? What's the history? Cap, what kind of journey? Where did you pick it up? He is, he is being so, so, he, he's lowballing this, right? There's no way. It's just a random thing he just picked up along the way when he was journeying. Bro, this is probably like the previous Demon Lord's fucking Forbidden Seal sword or some shit and you had defeated him and now you fucking made this nation. Like, what's the lore? Perry! Oh. Whoa! The wind pressure! Imagine the parries with this blade, man. One-handed. It's a fucking two-handed great sword, and bro's doing it one-handed. I offer you my daughter in marriage. No, no, no. We're gonna somehow. Well, like, like he's gonna be stuck in F rank. We need to like adventure. We need to like you know have an excuse to like promote to D rank and shit. Yeah, let's join the party together. Now with this party, we can take on better jobs. Teach her how to parry, bro. Ines is really protective, huh? Ines does not like this dude at all. <laughs> Cash, this shit's on the king. Yeah, this guy fucking laughs a lot. Bro, stop with the yapping. Let me go home. This fucking parries the king's daughter, ignores her, fucking saves her, then parries her request. Gets dragged to the mansion, sees the father, parries the father too, shits on him at the end, takes the fucking legendary sword, leaves. What a giga chad, bro. What an absolute giga chad. What? 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 No! You gonna use this to scoop poop? This is a disrespect to this blade. This is the first thing he realizes. Oh shit. I can do single fucking scoops of the poop in the aqueducts now. Oh, my work is gonna be more optimized. You can't, man. You <laughs> oh, that was a funny joke to her. I thought, I thought after the apology, he, he, him saying like, oh, you're not a maid would like piss her off, but she found it funny. Ines. Vice Captain. Kami no Tate! Tate no Yusha-sama! 
お守りしなければならないお方その命を救ってくれた御人ともな大層なことはしていないんだがこれから先私はできうる限りあなたの本当にこの家の人たちは大げさだなあんだが気持ちだけは受け取っておこう一応忠告はしておくいや先ほどまでの態度リンネブルグ様には許されるは目に余るあれほど慣れ慣れしい Oh, well, King enjoyed it! You're being a little bit too uptight, lady. The king was like, haha, it's so nice to talk to someone like an equal. We need to correct her. How are we gonna parry a shield? Does that even work? I don't fucking know. We need to correct her, though. She wants to correct us. I wanna correct her. Okay. Noor. <laughs> What, 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 what? What about that name? No, there was something there. That name elicits such a reaction from her. And, like, why would that be the case? Because, like, again, we don't know why he was stuck in the mountain. And there was, like, a barrier or some kind of seal sealing him inside, right? So, clearly, the parents were hiding this kid for whatever reason. I don't think I remember her in the past flashback. No, it was just him and the chickens and the mom. There's got to be some more backstory reasons that we don't know yet. No last name either, too, exactly. Jeez! Albert. Harbert. Yes! Perry is ass! <laughs> Number two, episode two titles called I Parry Rewards. And that is very true. And that's today's episode of I Parry the Rewards. And like, it, like, they know the jokes, right? Like, yeah, we're joking about how he's denying all the rewards. Like, oh, he's parrying, he's parrying. The author knows too. He's clearly aware of like, yeah, he parries everything. Even metaphorically, right? It's pretty funny. So today's episode, um, it's pretty much just like an award ceremony, right? We know about the different factions now. We have our empire or kingdom, and then there's like the magic empire. Pretty shitty people there that uh, sent some kind of like ring to pretty much kill Lady Lin. So it's not a succession war thing. It looks like everyone in our side is pretty nice, right? We met new characters. The king is cool. Um, don't know much about Rain, Lin's brother. We do know Innes now, and Gilbert, the spearman, probably wants to duel, and we're gonna just parry his ass. It's gonna be amazing. This sword, though, this sword that was just hanging as like a decoration is probably such, such an important legendary weapon that Nor is gonna use as a poop shovel now. How fucking disrespectful is that? That's insane. Bro sees this sword, and the first thing he realizes is poop shovel. Yup, I'm a fucking poop shovel, man. Ridiculous. Enos being surprised and shocked by Nor's name is very interesting. Nor also doesn't have a last name, and Enos might know more of why we were stuck in the mountains with those, like, stones that acted as a barrier. Mom said, don't go beyond those barrier seals. Why? I don't know. It's gotta be related to this. Next episode, we're gonna dunk on, you know, Gilbert, and goddamn, he is gonna respect us. And that's it from me. If you're still here... If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.